Hello, yarn tubers. Welcome back to Wanderlust Crochet. Dana and Benji. We are in Tyler, Texas, and there are three things, three things I want to talk to you guys about. The first one, I want to show you that I finally started on this shawl and ball stuff because I have shawl and ball here on the truck and I wanted a break from what it was doing. So, I can see why someone would throw their hook hard enough across the room that it would stick in the drywall. But, I still really love it, you guys. Isn't this fabulous? It's going to make the greatest scarf. Scarf wrap. Wrap, scarf. I'm just getting into the purple right now. I've got one of these um, stitch markers that I bought when I was at the Yarny Social. It's a llama. I love llamas. So I just wanted to show you guys. I am starting to get the hang of this shawl in a ball. Now it's listed as a four weight. And I agree with Carrie the Yarny Elephant. It's more like a, it's more like a fingering. <laughs> That's what it feels like when I'm working with it. Plus it's kind of fiddly beyond being that thin. And, and it calls for a J hook, I believe. I don't know, the, right, the printing is so small on the um, label that it's hard to tell. I believe it calls for a six millimeter. I'm using a 5.5 and I just love how this pattern, this is the Sunset Wrap by Selena Baca. I love how that's coming out. Hello, there is a bag from Sasquatch Yarns right there. So that's, that's the first thing I wanted to tell you guys about. Second thing is, um, I wanted to show you just, I don't wanna do a whole video on blocking. I just wanna show you the difference. I just wanna show you that I've got this and you know, it's it doesn't have a lot of like movement to it, a little bit of a curl, but when I block them out, I love these blocking combs. Now I'll take the combs out. This has been sitting for a day, and all I did was I took my hand steamer. It's a cheap steamer. I got it for about 40 something at Bymart. Bymart, for those of you who are not in the Pacific Northwest, is um it's like a membership it's like a little membership department store little one it's got a little yarn it's got a little stuff in it but anyway why did i bring up by mart now i can't remember but anyway um oh my hand steamer <sighs> thank you mikey for years ago demonstrating steaming an acrylic blanket with um this hand steamer and it made all the difference i think it'll make so look at this block I mean yeah it's a granny but what if you did like like this one has not been blocked it's an African square with a really I wouldn't normally if I was gonna do a whole blanket of, of Afri African flowers I wouldn't put this big board this big this around it but this is um, doesn't have a lot of movement to it but then if I steamed it because it is acrylic if I steamed it it could look like this do you see that the difference in the movement it is, it is so fabulous. Or like this log cabin square, it's very dense. It is very dense. It's done all with um, single crochet and it doesn't have a lot of movement to it, but if you steamed it, those stitches would open up. Can you see that? Oh my goodness. Where, <clears throat> you know, this one does have a little movement to it, but it's still got some curl and it just doesn't look as nice and sharp as this one does. So people have asked me, you know, wh what difference does it make? You know, it's just a blanket. Just throw the thing in the wash. It really makes a huge difference. Can you imagine doing a whole blanket out of some kind of motif, all in different kind of, you know, sc scrappy colors and, and the whole thing moves like that? Yeah, that's, that's what gets me excited. So <clears throat> I just wanted to show what a difference. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this non-blocked one in front of the blocked one. Can you see, see how it's peeking up around the edges? I've got it perfectly at eight inches. That's what blocking can do. Now the thing with the, um, I have relented on the blocking when it comes to the, um, elfin squares because they are a lot of squares to, um, to make. In fact, these three right here that I'm working on will make 30 for me and I gotta sit here and try to get started on the next 10. Um, oh, I think I have four things to talk about today. <laughs> so anyway, 
contact. Okay, um, so I have 13 squares to finish and um, I am planning on blocking every one of them here on the truck and then getting them out by November 30th. But um, the rules now say blocking is encouraged but not required. <laughs> If you really think you can lay this thing out and it's going to be an eight inch square, you know, I, cause I'm going to end up when I put the squares together, I'm going to steam that whole blanket. Anyway, I'm not going to wet block it, but I am going to steam it, but definitely, I mean, you can tell now I got the unblocked one here and the blocked one here. See how nice that is. It's just like icing on the cake. It is so nice. So the next thing, um, I want to talk to you guys about contacting me. If you ever want to contact me, you can text me. Tell me who you are. <laughs> Explain who you are. Text me at 208-805-7111. And when I get pulled over, I'll be happy to um, respond to you. Don't try to call because if I don't recognize your number, rec I mean... I get so many scam calls all day, every day, that I just don't answer the phone anymore. Unless it's, you know, someone who's already in my contacts, I will answer the phone. Unless, <laughs> there's another one, unless it's Sunday. So here's how my life is. Saturdays are, is the day for me. I do the things I want. I try to d make that the day that I do the things you know, for me, my fun things, things I want to do just because it makes me happy. I do not do that five days a week, five days a week. Um, you know, I'm serving you. I'm serving my employer. I am, I am trying to be in service. Um, I'm serving the Lord. Now, speaking of the last part, I don't answer the phone on Sundays. I usually don't respond to too many people on Sundays. If I have responded to you on a Sunday, you're pretty special. But then I'm going right back to, um, it's the first day of the week. Um, we come together on the first day of the week to sing, worship, study, do all the things. Take the Lord's Supper. Um, in fact, many times when I'm parked on a Sunday evening, I try to park early so that I can Uber to the nearest congregation so that I can attend. I am not perfect at this, so please don't judge me if you see me actually upload or post something or say something on a Sunday. Please don't come crashing down on me. I I am a very flawed Christian. Very flawed. So, um, just know that I am trying on those days, on Sundays, to, you know, focus on Him and not on what I want, my desires, or on, you know, anybody else, only on him. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. It doesn't mean I always succeed, but um, that's, that's what I wanted to share with you guys about contacting me. Um, I know sometimes people forget because they don't have, they have different priorities for their Sundays, and they're like, hey, but anyway, okay. The last thing I want to tell you guys is, speaking of worship, um, this scarf, which was a whole lot of fun to make, um, with these long waves in them. See those long waves? This is the Noah scarf, and this was done in a way that helps us. Um, it, it it is done not only as a Bible study, the whole pattern, but it's done in a way that helps us fight the effects of living in in the 21st century there are a lot of things electromagnetic fields even my doctor even mainstream do stream mainstream doctors general practitioners are saying hey watch out for those EMFs watch out for the effects of what blue light you know looking at a screen all the time does to us um, so it's about it's about counting out loud saying phrases out loud um, words out loud as you as you complete your stitches while doing this and it's supposed to help our functions better I'm not a doctor I am NOT a therapist I'm none of these things I'm not even a counselor <laughs> I I have been called a mentor before but um, this um, my testers gave me some amazing feedback about what the how this um, you know the whole goal is not only to learn 
you know, the first 11 chapters of Genesis, but to get our minds thinking a little more clearly, a little more, you know, ability to concentrate, stay on task, that kind of thing. In fact, I'm thinking of doing another one just because, um, it, it, I felt so much clearer after doing this one the first time. So this is the Noah scarf, you guys. And I have decided that it is going to cost $9.99 to download it because it is a huge, it was a huge undertaking to do this pattern with the Bible study and all the other things that are added into it because I had to get I had to be edited by more than just your regular editor. You know, people at the church, I um, um, I had church leaders looking it over. I had all kinds of experts looking it over. It is a $9.99 pattern. But if you use the coupon code NOAA100, 100 downloads will be free using that code. You can personally use it once, but 100 of you are going to be able to download it for free as of today. I don't know how long that's going to last. And as soon as it's over, it is going, it's going to go to $4.99 for a couple of days, and then it's going up to $9.99 for the rest of its online life. So that's my big announcement today here from Tyler, Texas. We're just hanging out and crocheting and doing our stuff because I don't deliver until tomorrow so it it get you know I'm trying not to complain I'm trying not to make my whole life about trucking because it does give me time to sit here and crochet and work on these videos and interact with all of you okay okay I love you guys bye